In today's video, I'm going to be brutally ranking, giving away, and opening every Sword and Shield set, and it's going to be controversial. We're gonna be going worst to first because let's be real, starting at the bottom and working our way to the top is the best option. We are going to start in the D category, the poop category, oh yes. It's Rebel Clash. Rebel Clash was released in May of 2020 with 209 cards, a fairly small set for the Sword and Shield era. If I had to pick my favorite card, and this purely because I had to pick a favorite card for each set, it would have been Nine Tails. Now let's open up some Rebel Clash because, oh yes, guys, we have a pack from every single set. We're gonna make this the craziest opening ever. I got every pack. Yes, this is an expensive video. Let's go fire. Um, yeah. I, quite frankly, haven't opened a lot of Rebel Clash, but, but from the set itself and the fact that, quite frankly, it doesn't have a whole lot of substance, I just, I had to put it in the garbage category. And quite frankly, I know that most of you are going to agree with me. Darkness Ablaze is up next. And no, I did not put it in the poop category. We are stepping up to the epic fails. This is not a great set. However, Rebel Clash is the only poop set in Sword and Shield. The reality is Darkness Ablaze is a step above Rebel Clash. It is truly, truly a okay set. It doesn't have a lot of great, but it is not awful. So let's open up some Darkness Ablaze. It has 201 cards. It was released August 14th of 2020. And my favorite card of this set is actually, no, not a Charizard, because if you guys have been following me, Charizard and me, we're just not huge friends, quite frankly. The Pokemon Breeder Nurturing Let's Go Fire is actually one of my favorite cards from this set. It's actually a really nice card. And as always, we are going to be giving away all of these beautiful cards. So leave us a comment down below. Let me know how much you disagree with my very brutal ranking today. And subscribe to the channel if you want more of these type of videos. Urshering and Adele Caddy. Now, I think this next pick won't be any surprise. Base set is going into the C spot. The reality is base sets are just, they're base, they're basic. And so it is going to be going into the C category. It just doesn't have a lot of oomph, doesn't have a lot of great cards. Most of my rankings are purely on joy of opening, the collectability of it all, and just how much I love the art. I collect for art. I give away to you guys based on how much you guys love the art of the Pokemon. I know there is a lot more to this, a lot more to Pokemon, but that is why my ranking is just so brutal. So I do expect a lot of backlash on this, but that is the reality of today. So let's open up some good old base set of course, the Snorlax, the beautiful Snorlax VMAX, and no, not the rainbow. I am not a rainbow fan. For those of you who are new to uh, our channel, let's go fire. Um, I am not a rainbow fan. I don't particularly love the rainbow. It's one of the reasons I like the new generation. I am very happy that the rainbows are gone. I don't hate them, but I'm not a huge fan of them. And so I'm okay that they are part of the history. And Turtonator for our rare. And we are moving on. Now this next set is hated by many. And quite frankly, I don't have a lot to say about it. It was released in September of 2020, September 25th to be specific. It has 80 cards, so not a large set. My favorite card is the Gold Suspicious Food Tin. I just really like the art on that card. And yes, I'm speaking of Champion's Path. Champion's Path is just a bit of a weird set. A lot of people just, for some reason, 
It had like this really quick fire and just failed quite frankly. And let's open her up. It's a weird set. I was not collecting at the time of Champions Pass release. It is something that we have opened on the channel before. I've enjoyed its opening, but I haven't loved it. Let's go water. It's one of those things that it just has a bit of a weird feel. It doesn't have a lot of really, really crazy art. For a special set or a different set, you'd expect a little bit more beautiful energy there. Out of Pokemon, and we've gotten more out of them. Let's see what this beautiful card is. The Gardevoir V. Now, I do have to say this is a stunning art, but when it comes to a full collection set for 80 cards, it's just a bit of a weird one. Now, let's take a look at this one under the microscope. Gardevoir V with a beautiful pink eye giving you a hand. What a stunning card. Now, these next two sets are going to be a shocker, so hold on tight. Hold on to your butts. Fusion Strike released on November 12th of 2020, 284 cards. My favorite card is the Mu V alternate or alt ultra rare. It is going into the epic fails and just straight up letdowns for me. Now, let me explain. The reality is it's a monstrosity of a set at 284 cards. It is a huge, huge set. And quite frankly, for being such a large, large set, it just doesn't have enough for me. It's so many cards, just so many cards and not enough good stuff considering the amount of cards. I think Pokemon went too big with not enough oomph and with the reality of the sets that came after it, there was so much better and they cut down for a reason. This set is just way too big and that's why it's going in the C category. Now, I know I'm being mean to you and you're always so nice to me with so many beautiful pulls. I pull some beautiful art out of Fusion Strike so frequently and if I do today, I am going to feel bad. Let's go fighting. The reality is Fusion Strike is always so nice to me. And from a TCG perspective, the people who play the TCG are going to be very mad at me because Fusion Strike has brought so many beautiful cards to the playability of the game. And I get it, guys. I just, for me, when we're talking art, this one, and he here we go again, Fusion Strike. I just, I couldn't put it any higher. If it, when we're talking about art and the collectability, Fusion Strike, I just can't do it. Okay, what do we have here? Oh, a beautiful, beautiful Gengar. It's not the beautiful me. This Gengar is a beautiful card, but Fusion Strike, I just, I can't do it. 284 cards. Let's take a look at it under the microscope. Gengar V, will you be caught by his dark slumber? Released October 8th of 2021 with 50 cards. You should know exactly what set I'm talking about. My favorite card, the beautiful, beautiful gold Mew. It's celebrations. I understand it was a beautiful celebration Pokemon was trying to do. And it came so underneath the bar for me. I think 151 and everything they're trying to do now is so much, so much better. This one's a C and it's an epic fail. Everything they did from adding the 25th edition Pikachu Pokemon to it, for me, I just, I think the new arts with 151 and everything they're doing with the 151 original Pokemon is just so much better of an idea than the rehash and the addition of the 25th anniversary celebrations that they did. Don't get me wrong, it's a super fun set. I may even master this set eventually one day. It is a small set and it's a fun one. However, I am just not loving the whole rebadge attachment thing that they did with the 25th and the Pikachu. Ugh, I just, I, I can't put it any higher specifically for that. And quite honestly, the editor loves some of the cards of this set and he is mad that I put it so low. 
Come on, man. What are we talking about? On the ranking, but this is the reality. It's harsh and it's the truth. Now let's see what Celebration has to offer. We have actually pulled some of the favorite chase cards out of this set. And you guys have absolutely loved this set. And I, I get it, but this, I just, I just can't get behind the badge, guys. I just, I can't do it. And we have a Dialga. And last but not least, Mr. Pikachu. Oh, he's cute. Oh my goodness. But it, the card would be so much nicer if that wasn't there. You guys can't, you can't disagree with me, can you? Let me know in the comments down below. Let's take a look at Pikachu under the microscope. Pikachu, do you see the Butterfree and Caterpie in the background? Now, I told you to hold your horses because the next one's just as hard. Lost Origin released September 9th, 2022 with 247 cards. My favorite card is the beautiful eating Snorlax from the Trainer Gallery. This set is a nice one and I know with 247 cards, also a fairly large set, Again, TCG players, don't get mad at me. I understand that this was a huge one for you guys too, but the reality is the art for me just, I, I, it doesn't do it. It just doesn't do it for me. I know some people love some of the arts that came out of Lost Origin, but for the most part, there's just some better sets. And I like the art out of some of the other sets that came out of Sword and Shield way, way better. And I think, considering where it stood in the sword and shield era it's one of the last sets that came out and some of the earlier generation sets just had better art and how is that even possible they should be progressively getting better and lost origin it it just fell flat for me and that's why it is a c i don't think it's necessarily an epic fail but it was a letdown for me i wasn't the happiest when this set came out I didn't particularly love it. We didn't open a lot of it on the channel. Let's go water. And there's a reason for it. I don't particularly love opening Lost Origin. I don't know particularly why. There's just something about it that I just, I can't get behind Lost Origin. I just, I can't do it. It might also be with the fact that the hit rates on this, I just, I can never pull anything out of it. Next up, we have Astral Radiance, released in May 27th of 2022, with a whopping 246 cards, not a small set. My favorite card is the Machamp V, the ultra rare alternate art. This is where the full arts really get fun and I think where Pokemon really started stepping up their game. And with this in mind, I put Astral Radiance in the B slot. Astral Radiance for a while just kind of fell flat for me, but when I was reviewing my notes and really going through the set, I realized how many full illustration and full arts, alternate arts, the set really had. That Machamp is just absolutely stunning. Let's go fire. And on top of that, they didn't even have really the Galarian Gallery or the Trainer Galleries really set up at this point. And the cards are just absolutely stunning. 246 cards and just absolutely so many beautiful, beautiful cards. And an Ursaluna for our rare. Released November 13th of 2020, it's been a little bit. 203 cards and my favorite card, Pokemon Center Lady. She is just absolutely stunning in this set. If you haven't guessed, yes, it is Vivid Voltage with the beautiful Chonkachu and just a wonderful set for Pikachu in general. This set comes in the Beast lot for me too. Now, some of these sets go from fire to fiasco. They get released and quite frankly, they were really high good sets and don't quite get any higher or better which is why it cannot be rated in a but 
Quite frankly, Vivid Voltage was a pretty solid set all around and this is why it's a B for me. If we pull that Pokemon Center lady, I am going to be such a happy camper. These are all individual for the most part. Most of them come from booster boxes, so the chances are there. Let's go fire, but I'm not putting my hopes up. It is such a stunning card though, and I have not seen it in person. Look at that Charizard. And it's, it's, it's just a regular rare, guys. Come on, work with me here. Metagross for our rare. Shining Fates is up next, released February 19th of 2021 with 195 cards. My favorite card is the Poke Kid. How can you not love her in that beautiful EV set? Now, it is slotted in the B slot for me purely because I cannot put it in the A slot on pull rates alone. I love Shining Fates. It is one of my favorite special sets out of Sword and Shield. I know a lot of people disagree with me with everything with the re-release and blah, 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 blah. Yes, we can debate about it all day long. However, the set itself is solid. But the secondary mini shinies that come with this set and all of them trying to collect them are next to impossible. And for me, trying to keep Pokemon easy to collect and or cost effective to collect is very important. And Shining Fates just misses that mark. And so I'm sorry, Shining Fates. It makes me sad, but you're in the B slot. We'll see which of the baby shinies we get today, but Quite frankly, I'm assuming it's going to be a duplicate I've already pulled. And that's the sad part about this set. Let's go water. It's just one of those things. It's incredibly hard to master this set. And I think a lot of people had every intentions of mastering the set when it first came out. Everyone loved it. We were in the midst of the pandemic. Everyone was losing it for this set. Luxray for our rare. Released June 24th, 2022 with only 88 cards. My favorite card in this set is the beautiful Mewtwo V with a special mention to the Ditto. If you haven't figured it out, this set is Pokemon Go. Now, this is going to be a very controversial comment, but Pokemon Go is going in my B slot. Yes. It is. I know everyone has lots to say about Pokemon Go, but I know a lot of people think it missed the spot. I just think the marketing missed the spot, not the set. I think they did a great job. I know Pokemon Go had its place. I think 10 years down the road from today, everyone's going to be collecting it, quite frankly. And I think it's absolutely fabulous. The only, only thing that Pokemon Go had not going for it was its timing and its marketing. And so for that reason alone, it's in my B slot. I love Pokemon Go. The editor loves Pokemon Go. Yeah, 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 yeah. It also has, you know, that little thing that I was complaining about celebrations. I think it had its place and I think it should have found its place in our world and it just didn't. Let's go fire. I don't know why. I quite honestly think the arts are really fun. Opening it, it's so cool. The ditto, I, I just, oh my goodness. I just think this set is so, so cool. And it just, it should have gotten given so much more love with a beautiful Moltres. Now here come the haters, Evolving Skies, August 27th, 2021, with 237 cards. Yes, my favorite card is the Dragonite V with him floating on his back. I know it is not an evolution, and yes, this set is full of them. They are stunning, and I don't discount that, but the Dragonite V is my favorite favorite card in this set. It is a set that is just absolutely impossible for people to collect. And as mentioned with Shining Fates, it is the reason it is in my B slot. 
It is hard to pull. It is impossible to get your hands on. It was scalp beyond belief. It is just, I'm mm, so maddening. So, so, so maddening. And I just, I can't get behind sets that people cannot easily collect. It could have been the best set of the era. And it didn't because of, in part, printing problems, in part, but mostly because of, quite frankly, a frenzy, let's go fire. And just the madness, the madness that was and what did happen to Evolving Skies. The prices of these cards are just absolutely preposterous. And that is how I feel about Evolving Skies. My queens, my beautiful queens, Silver Tempest released November 11th of 2022. Pokemon, can we not release sets on November 11th? Oh, come on! That would be kind of nice. 245 cards. And my favorite is the beautiful Skunk Tank V Alt Art. And yes, it is Silver Tempest. It is a beautiful set that a lot of people underestimated. A lot of people didn't collect for some reason and quite frankly overlooked. It is a stunning set with a beautiful gallery and so many alternate art cards that just are brimming with stunning illustrations. And Silver Tempest is, yes, one of my queen sets. It is an A set for me. It is, yes, hard to pull, which almost made it into the B set. It is why I almost put it in the B, but it is just, it's one of my favorites. And that is why it's in an A slot. Let's go fire. Let's see if Silver Tempest is going to be nice to us. But these arts are just absolutely amazing. I just love what they did to this set. And as one of, as the last, you know, full set before the special set, I just, ah, beauty, just simple, beautiful. Released March 19th of 2021 with only 183 cards. This small set, my favorite card is the Tyranitar V Alt Art. Yes, we are talking about the very contentious and much hated battle styles. Yes, this is another one of my queen sets, an A-list set. It is one of my absolute favorites. I don't know why so many haters hate this set. It has so many beautiful, beautiful cards. That Tyranitar, have you seen it? Come on, guys, for real. And it's not the only one. Everyone's going to be, the Tyranitar is the only nice card, staff. Of course you picked it. No, guys, go look at that set. If you've got anything else to say about it, put it in the comments below. Let's have a debate about it. Let's be constructive, though, okay? It's an A set. Let's open some up. I cannot wait to master battle styles and be able to relish this beautiful set in my living room every day of the week. Let's go fire. We are getting to the end. You are probably trying to guess, oh, a slowpoke. See, come on. There's a Galarian slowpoke. You guys know how much I love my slowpokes. And no, not, not just cause there's a slowpoke. There's so many nice cards. What do we have? Oh, and we have a pull? My goodness. A uh, Rapid Strike Urshifu V. My goodness. Let's take a look at it under the microscope. Rapid Strike Urshifu V ready for his blows. Now, if you've been keeping track, you should know what the last three sets are, but let's go through them. Next up, we have Brilliant Stars. Brilliant Stars is another one of my beautiful queens. At February 25th, 2022, it was released with 216 cards. My favorite is the beautiful, beautiful, stunning Luminian V. It is such a nice set. Quite frankly, I used to hate Brilliant Stars. I used to find it overpriced, just like Evolving Skies. It's come down in price. It got a reprint, which honestly, I don't understand. However, 
I have opened quite a bit more Brilliant Stars, had spent quite a bit more time with this set, and I have actually fallen in love with it. It is a stunning, stunning gallery, and it is just a beautiful set from start to finish. And yeah, it has a Charizard in it too, but quite honestly, it's not even about the Charizard. Yeah, I know a lot of people love this set for the Charizard, but that's not even why I love it. I just love it because it's a beautiful set from start to finish. Now, if we pull that Luminion, I think I might lose it, but you know, I will be very happy for whoever wins it. Let's go fire. Now, don't forget, comment down below and subscribe if you wanna win all of today's beautiful cards. I think I may have seen something, so I think we might have a pull in this stunning, stunning set. Oh, and we do. What do we have? Oh, a Whimsicott V. Beau oh, this card is awesome. See, guys, come on. You got to work with me here. Let's take a look at this Whimsicott under the microscope. Whimsicott V. Don't let his fluff get in the way. Now, if you've been following the channel for a while, you probably saw this coming from the beginning of this video because I am not shy about it. But my top queen, my very one, number one, and number A, it is Chilling Rain, released on June 18th, 2021 with 233 cards. Yes, it is not a small set, and no, the pull rates aren't great but it is a beautiful, beautiful set. My favorite card is the Slow King V. And no, I'm not talking about the alt art, actually. I'm just talking about the regular Slow King V. I know that might be shocking to some of you, but the set from start to finish has so many full illustrations, so many beautiful, beautiful cards. It is a very challenging set to master. However, if you look at different ways of collecting and if you were to collect this set by just buying cards and just enjoying the arts themselves this set is just absolutely enjoyable and i just can't wait one day to master this set as well i know this one's going to be controversial and that's why why we talk about this video because everyone enjoys Pokemon differently and Chilling Rain is just it has my heart and it's one of those sets that I will forever fight for and so with that my master queen in the A slot is Chilling Rain. Now let's open up some Chilling Rain and see if we get a pull. Now of course congratulations to last week's winner and of course, make sure that you come back next week to find out if you've won today's cards. And before we go any further, stay tuned because you know, you know, we've we've got a king to announce still. Let's go fire. And you know the king. I know you know, but he is special and he deserves his moment. Flannery and uh, Serena. The king, the special, the S-class of the Sword and Shield era, I'm sure all of you have guessed it, is Crown Zenith. Of course, it is a mastery of sets. It will forever be known as the king of the Sword and Shield era, released on January 20th of this year, 2023, with 230 stunning, stunning cards. My favorite being the beautiful Luminion V, with a special note to the Galarian Gallery ditto, which, you know, ditto, mm, lovely. I absolutely think this set is a mastery of Pokemon's illustrations. It's perfection and it's absolute beauty. No, it is not my personal favorite set of Sword and Shield. Chilling Rain will forever be that. However, I cannot, I cannot, it, 
they did an amazing job with this one. It, it's simple perfection and I cannot say anything otherwise. So let's open her up and see what hits are inside because we know with Crown Zenith, there are hits. And if there aren't, I will be very sad. <laughs> but it's Crown Zenith people and the chances are high. Let's go water. Oops. We're just gonna go for it. We messed it up and we're gonna go with it. We're just gonna go with it. Sunkern coughing. Crown Zenith is going to forever be the king. Of course we have a... Oracorio, do we have a double? That is the question. We do not. Wow. It is a Tauros, but let's take a look at this beautiful Oracorio under the microscope. Oracorio, what a way to end this video. Of course, Crown Zenith comes out with a bang. If you'd like to keep on chasing on, check out this video next.